Hello, I'm Eftihia Ali, and we're here with Robert Ferguson, America's voice of wellness and weight loss, CEO and founder of Diet Free Life. Robert has created a weight loss method that has helped thousands of people lose weight. We all know that there are many methods for losing weight, but with Diet Free Life, there are no forbidden foods and you can eat everything from fast food to fine dining, organic or not, and get amazing results. Almost sounds too good to be true, right? Well, that's why we are here. Our forum today was established through questions posed to Robert through social media about the Diet Free Life system. Let's get straight to it. In random order, the first question comes from Judy from Canada. Many popular weight loss programs like Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem, Jenny Craig, and others also say you can eat foods you love and lose weight without dieting. How is Diet Free Life System different than other weight loss programs? Well, we know I can't say that you can eat your favorite foods and lose weight because everyone else is saying that. But here are some of the key differences. One, our entire program and methodology meets a person right where they are. So when you meet someone where they are, you're looking at their cultural like position, you're looking at their financial situation. Not everyone can afford to purchase prepackaged foods or to purchase foods that fall under the category or of organic. People need to be able to make, you know, the foods work for them based on their situation, right? And then their current situation is not their final situation. And what I do is show people how to eat foods they have access to, foods they love, right? Foods that they want to eat, foods they can afford, but eat those foods in a way where they can get the results that they want. And that's something that you can live with for the rest of your life. And no other program does that. The next one is Claudia from California. You say I don't have to give anything up, but during the three weeks clean start, I do have to avoid certain things. Why? Well, that is a great question. <laughs> and here's the deal. See, within the Diet Free Life system, when a person first embraces it, the first three weeks is what we call the three-week clean start. And it's designed to give a person an opportunity to get a jump start on their weight loss. So we do have some hard rules, I guess, in the beginning. They're guidelines with the goal of refreshing their palate so that foods that are somewhat bland now won't be bland after three weeks. So it gives them like a new opportunity, one, of getting added education or knowledge about nutrition, eating foods that they wouldn't have probably even given a chance. And then after the three weeks, all the foods that I ask people to avoid during that time, I show them how to bring those foods back in. Plus, psychologically, people are looking for structure. When they go in to lose weight, they're expecting a diet. And I don't like diet. That's why we're called Diet Free Life but I do want to give them somewhat of a structure that they can follow so they don't have to think too much. And as they're going through that process, then they're learning and that newfound knowledge puts them in a position where they can live the rest of their life, again, eating foods they love, combining them in the right way, eating at the right times, where they can get you know, something that's sustainable, meaning they'll never gain the weight back. Our next question is from Christine from Kentucky. How can I eat my favorite foods? Isn't that how I gained the weight in the first place? How can I eat the same foods and lose weight? <laughs> well, that's a great question. And, and she's right. Many people have gained weight eating foods that now have been, I guess, demonized as the culprit for why they gained the weight. And what I do is I show them how to eat those same foods in a way where they can lose the weight. And it's all like scientific, right? I can substantiate it all. You can eat the foods that you love once you know how to combine the foods in the right way and you're eating them at the right time in the right amounts. And we're not talking about a little bit of food. We're talking about a good amount of food. And as a result of doing this, your blood sugar levels are right where you want them because uh, blood sugar plays a big role in whether or not a person gains weight or you're walking around moody because your blood sugar levels are too low. Uh, and that right there contributes toward their insulin levels, which is a hormone that when they're in the right like level, you actually are in fat burning mode. And so the goal is to keep a person there and do so in a way where they're not feeling deprived and they don't feel like they're missing out on foods everybody else is eating. Next question, Ida Lee from Kansas. I saw you at the Steve Harvey show saying I could lose weight eating fast food. How can I do that? 
Well, you can lose weight eating fast food. We've done studies inside of our clinic and we have thousands of people who have done so. When you know how to eat the foods in the right combinations and amounts, you can literally eat whatever you want. It's like when I look at McDonald's, for instance, they have the popular Big Mac. And when you look closer at the Big Mac, you will see that it has about 25 grams of protein, which is about three to four ounces of chicken breast. And it has about 45 grams of total carbohydrates, which is not many carbs. It has fat, but it's not too much fat because the total calories is anywhere from high 400s to like 560 calories. That's not a lot of calories. So you could eat the Big Mac as a meal and not see your blood sugar levels go up too high, keep your insulin levels right where you want them, and be able to lose weight if there's weight to be lost. The problem is when you go and get the Big Mac with the french fries, with the large like soda, with the cookies on the side, then you're consuming too much food at one time, which can cause a food flood, and then you will gain weight. But it's not fast food that's the problem. It's how we're eating the fast food that ends up causing us to gain weight. Interesting. Trudy from Wisconsin. How do you help me change my mindset and willpower because that's my real problem? That is a great question. And, and I love that question because it's, it's delivered in a way from you as well as Trudy of total honesty because people do rely on willpower. And I'm here to tell you that if you rely on willpower, you're probably not gonna be successful because with willpower means that you're looking at discipline as the key to help you open up the gateway to losing all this weight and being successful. And as a former Marine, the most disciplined Marine or the most disciplined soldier will lose discipline. So willpower is not my friend. What I recommend people focus on is mindset because that is something that we can make over. That being said, when you have goals in front of you that are clear, realistic, and you believe you can attain it, which most people don't believe, then focus there, take those baby steps, and success is just a matter of time. You know, it's like uh, Earl Nightingale you know, once defined success as the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Basically what he's saying is that if it's worthy, right, if it means something to you, and if you each day take some type of step toward getting there, you're a success at that moment. And if you can get people to get their mind to wrap around that, then again, success will meet you halfway. Uh, next question is from Elizabeth from Oregon. Michelle Obama says that I need to eat more organic food. Who's right, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that Michelle Obama, uh, with her drive to make a difference in this world, this country, as far as getting people healthier, I commend that. However, I'm not the biggest fan of someone that says we must all go organic. Because the reality is, when you say that, not everyone has the education, not everyone has the economic structure in place to be able to afford that. The reality is we have more people today that are getting food subsidized. That means they're going to food banks so they can eat dinner tonight. And if you're going to a food bank, unless you know, the food banks are giving away some organic food, you're probably not gonna get organic food. The other part of that is that when you're out there talking about organic, like Jamie Oliver did on the Food Revolution, and he's saying that you know, we should all eat whole wheat bread, and he's telling kids this, well, those kids have to go home, and their parents can only afford white bread. So how is that dad feeling now that his son is coming home, saying, hey, what we're eating is bad, and you're not doing a good job, daddy. The reality is we all can you know, make the most of our lives based on where we are at this moment. And so instead of focusing on the word healthy, let's focus more on the word healthier because everyone can become healthier. There's, a, you know, you can go from whole milk to skim milk and that's a big step for a lot of people. You don't have to go from whole milk to, you know, uh, almond milk, right? <laughs> so baby steps. So Michelle Obama is right. I feel that I'm right. Again, I think it comes down to knowing how to eat whatever foods are in front of you in a way where you can get results. And that's what we focus on, that's what we teach, and that's why so many people are getting amazing results. Excellent. Next question is Alex from California. Can I lose weight on your program if I'm on a tight budget? Well, there you go. People are in a situation where finances are tough. And when finances are tough, as you and I were talking about people like in your homeland, right, in Greece, if you're not working and you can't afford you know, certain foods, 
Then you start eating and you're maybe not as active, so you're a little sedentary, you start to gain weight. But if people knew what I know, which is the goal to get this out there, how to eat foods that are, come from a box, you know, canned beans, top ramen, but eat it in a way where you can get results. If you get results, that, that's your proof. We don't have to wait for some scientific study to tell us that it's okay to eat top ramen and box cheese. You can do it right now. We have people doing it all the time. So meeting you where you are means to do the best with what you have. And as a result of that, you'll get results, you'll feel better, and everything else in your life should upgrade. Thank you for answering that, Robert. I will tell my friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Liz from Texas. One of my challenges with weight loss is that I want to eat healthier, but my spouse doesn't. Does your program help with that? Isn't that interesting, right? <laughs> I hear all the time, it's like, at one point you have the husband or the man who wants to eat healthier, and then at that time, the wife or the lover doesn't, and then vice versa. I mean, it happens all the time. And this is one of the problems with a lot of commercial weight loss programs. When you meet someone where they are, you put them in a position of power. And that's what we do with the Diet Free Life system. Meaning, you don't have to cook anything different. So if you want to eat healthier and your spouse doesn't, well, you can eat what they're eating or vice versa, but eat it in the right combinations, the right amounts, eating exactly what everybody else is eating in the family. Same as going to a family reunion. You don't got to walk away from your diet, right? You can embrace the foods that are there because you know how to eat those foods. I mean, it's so simple what we do. It's so elementary, but yet so many people don't know about it. And that's why I believe that education is the key. Education without judgment can set people up to be extremely successful no matter what their situation. George from Indiana, do I need to work out to lose weight? No. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> and this is where people go, come on, it sounds too good to be true again. You don't have to work out. I mean, do you walk? Do you, are you active? Uh, do you like garden? Uh, do you just sit in a chair all day? I mean, what is your life like? Because you don't have to exercise. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to buy all this equipment. See, when we burn calories, is as a result of three different ways, right? There's this thing called basal metabolic rate, which means you're burning calories all the time. Like when you go to sleep at night, your body's functioning and it's burning calories to do so. So energy's being expended all the time. The second two ways, right, because there's only three, is activity and food. So if I go run, I burn more calories because I'm running. If I go for a walk, I burn more calories because of the movement of walking. But at the same time, in nutrition science, there's something called thermic effect of food. Every time you eat, you burn calories. And the more food you eat, the more calories you burn. So you can literally eat to lose. You can use food as a key that opens up those, that gateway to help you release body fat that won't come back. So once you start to lose the weight, what I have observed with my clients and people around the country, is you start to feel better. And then maybe activity or exercise is something that you want to take part in. But in the beginning, focus on food first. And once you have that and you're starting to feel better about yourself, then bring in physical activity when you're ready. Again, meeting a person right where they are. Next question, Terry from Arizona. Many doctors have embraced diet-free life. Why do you think so many physicians support your system? Doctors like Diet Free Life because it's simple and it's sustainable. It's something that makes sense. So a doctor could have a woman come in who wants to lose weight who is extremely wealthy. And he could have someone come in that's extremely poor. Our Diet Free Life system works for both those people the exact same way. Again, it meets people where they are. And it meets them on all the levels. So financially, psychosocially, you know, some people can go for a walk in their neighborhood and other people can't. It just, it depends on your situation. And a lot of programs, their blanket approaches, they're not looking at like what your life is like at home. They're not thinking about, you know, what's taking place when you go see your family. You know, there's some cultures, believe it or not, who actually get beat up on mentally, right, verbally, when they start to lose weight because it's more beautiful and more healthy to be heavier. So how do you address that? So there's a psychology that needs to be woven into how we work with people. Because if I went to Yale and I was, you know, you know, raised eating organic this, organic that, 
I may not realize that people eat possum or frog legs, right? <laughs> or eat some of these foods that I couldn't even imagine that they eat. So there's a disconnect. So the knowledge is often coming from someone who has no idea what it's like to eat box cheese and vice versa. So again, when you meet people where they are, you want to look at the whole person, the whole situation, and that's what we do. Sandy from South Carolina. Is diet-free life a low-carb method? Low-carb method, no, we are not a low-carb method. Now I do talk about carbs because I believe that carbs are a leading culprit for why people end up gaining weight. And it's how we eat the carbs, right? It's like protein is constant, right? Chicken, turkey, right? It's almost like always there and it's not protein is causing us to gain weight, but with the low-carb movement still being a blanket approach, many people just quit eating carbs or they bring their carbs down to just like just a little bit. Well, everyone responds to carbs differently, right? So some people can eat a lot of carbs and they can wake up the next day a pound lighter. And other people look at a carb and they start to gain weight. So the key is to figure out how your body responds to carbs. And so when we mention carbs, what we do is show people what their carb threshold number is. And the power is in knowing that number. And when you know that number, you can lose all the weight you want and you know how to keep the weight from coming back. Stacy from Florida. I bought Robert's program and it's still in the box. Is there anything you can share to get me started? Open it up. <laughs> <laughs> Open up the box. It's funny, as I travel around the country, I can't tell you how many times I'll run you know, into someone and they'll say, hey, I got your program. Haven't started yet, but you know, soon because they haven't opened the box. Many infomercial products that are out there, uh, people buy them because emotionally they're like pulled in and then they never use it. And who knows exactly why? Uh, and that's where the psychology comes in. I believe that people, you know, they want to live and have a better life, but sometimes life gets in the way and you know, it gives them a hard time uh, as far as like, you know, getting activated and being engaged and then getting the results so their life can be better. So I do recommend you open up the box, number one, because we meet you where you are and you've never done anything like this before. I mean, the Diet Free Life system is so revolutionary, it's so unique that, you know, once you get started, then you own it and you realize that everything that I'm saying is possible. It's, you know, actually it's better than possible, it's simple and it's right in front of a person. So imagine this woman has not opened a box and she doesn't feel good about who she is. She goes to work every day. Uh, her self-esteem level is, is not where she would like it to be because of how she feels on the inside. Her clothes aren't fitting the way she would like them to fit. And the entire time all this is happening, she has my product. It's under her bed, it's in a box. It's like the genie is waiting on her to open it up. And when she opens it up and she just takes that first step, I'll do the rest. It's kind of like Les Brown once said that you know, if you're afraid of something, that's okay. Believe in what I believe in until your belief kicks in and then you will crunch fear and you will be successful. Sharon from Florida. Does Robert's program work for kids? Absolutely, absolutely. Remember, we meet people where they are. I'll give you a quick story. I had a woman come to me as I was putting on a challenge and the challenge was using the Diet Free Life methodology and she had her teenage son and he was over 300 pounds. And she said, well, can my son do it? Well, the challenge was for people who were over the age of you know, 18 and over. And I said, yeah, he can follow you and do everything that you're doing, right? And they did it. Well, she ended up being one of the challenge winners. There was 10 of them. And her son lost 118 pounds. And he lost 118 pounds not eating foods that would give you know, other kids a reason to give him more attention and make him feel a little uncomfortable. When they went to In-N-Out Burger or a fast food joint, he was able to go with them and eat the same foods they were eating. The key here was that he knew how to eat those foods in the right way, the way I taught him in the program. And as a result, he lost the weight and people were like, dude, you're, you're eating the same foods. How is it that you're getting smaller? What are you doing? And he goes, I just know how to eat foods in the right combinations, the right amounts. He understood the science because we teach that. He lost 118 pounds. And if you're eating foods that most people believe cause you to gain the weight 
and you lose 118 pounds eating great food like that, why would you ever gain the weight back? You wouldn't because you were never deprived. You were never hungry. You never had to say, okay, I can't eat that. I can't have that. You can eat whatever you want and do it in the way that I teach people. And when that happens, you get results and then you keep results. That's amazing. You're ready to get started, aren't you? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to open that box. There you go. <laughs> Darcy from Maine. How soon will I see results? We have a three week clean start and we have that for many reasons. And one of them is to put people on the fast track to accelerating weight loss. So you will get results. I would say within the first 10 days, many people will drop one pan size. And we feel very confident about that. And I've seen it happen to thousands of people. I mean, my own family, people who come into our clinic, people I meet around the country, you know, every time people are getting those kind of results. So I'm very confident to say that you can expect to see results within the first 10 days. I have one more question for you, Robert. Missy from Missouri. If there was a final solution to weight loss, what would it be? Woo, that's a big question. Final solution to weight loss. Well, you know, the first thing I want to say is get my diet free life system because it is the final step. Um, but to give you from the heart answer, I believe education is key. I believe non bias, non judgmental education. Because once you know how the body like, gains weight, which we teach that, then it's easy for you to lose it. It's like, if you know what the cause of something is, you can reverse it. And when you reverse the cause with the right information, then you're in charge of your destination. If you don't have the knowledge, then you chase the effects. And there's a lot of people out there chasing the effects. And that's why they go from one weight loss method to the next weight loss method. And it's time to end that. It's time to end what we call the diet mentality and give people a real opportunity to live their best life and live a life where you don't give up food because that really is the celebration of life. If I went to Greece and we were all gonna get together and have a good time, I guarantee you that food would be a big part of that gathering. And if we went to China, same thing, Korea, anywhere in America, food is a big part of the party. So to have to give up foods I love to lose weight, think about, I mean, who wants to do that? So the reality is if I can eat those foods, and be at the party and still like upgrade my overall health and well-being and lose all this weight, why wouldn't I want to do that? The only reason a person would not be utilizing the diet free life system is one, they would be looking at this interview, for instance, and say, okay, it still sounds too good to be true. It sounds way too good to be true. Then I look at them and say, well, what do you have to lose? Give it a shot. And then you will never die again because you now have the knowledge. And when you have the knowledge, that really is power you know, once you take action. If you don't do that, then you're gonna continue to chase the effect, guess, 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 try, 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 and keep ending up right where you are. Science tells us this, 95% of the people who lose weight on any diet will gain it back, 95%. I mean, you might as well open up a, a restaurant <laughs> and take a chance there. And we know that most restaurants don't make it. So. I think education is key, and that's the approach that we take. Give them the knowledge, then they own it, it's theirs, and now they can live their best life. Excellent. Thank you so much, Robert. This has been an eye-opener for me. This may be the solution for many of you looking to get healthy and lose weight. To learn more about Robert's Diet Free Life program, go to dietfreelife.com.